Hi all. So welcome back to the discussion of WKB approximation. Okay, so the WKB approximation, we know that it is an approximation method to solve quantum mechanical problems. And this approximation usually valid when the potential variation is very slow. Okay, so in this session, we are going to discuss the validity of WKB approximation. So we can just recall what are the things that we have discussed in the earlier class. So we already said WKB is valid if V of x is slowly varying. So if the potential of the system, if it is a slowly varying function, then I can write the wave function in the classically admissible region as a harmonic function. It can take the form A of x, A raised to i, phi of x. So both amplitude and the phase is a function of x. Okay. So if you apply this wave function in our Schrodinger equation, I will get this equation. So this expression is basically the Schrodinger equation where I have written psi of x as a of x in the a raised by phi of x and we have found that uh, the first derivative of phi would be equal to the moment done by h cos. Okay. Now in order to validate about this condition if e of x is slowly varying, then both a of x and phi of x must be a slowly varying function. Okay. So then we can look at uh, this expression and we can compare the different term in this expression. Now if you look at the last two terms, look at the last two terms, so there is the, the first derivative of the phase phi and the second derivative of phase phi. Okay. Now since the phi is a slowly varying function, the first derivative term must be very greater, very much greater than the second derivative of phi. So therefore this term must be much greater than this particular term. Or in other words, I can write the second derivative of phi, so d square phi by dx square must be much less than d phi by dx also. Okay. So WKB will be valid or this approximation will be valid if this condition is satisfied. Okay. Now the second derivative I can simply write as phi double prime of x is much less than prime prime of x all square. Okay. So if you take uh, this phi prime square to the left side, you can write it as phi double prime of x divided by phi prime of x all square must be much less than 1. Okay. Now this equation I can write left side I can write the derivative of 1 upon phi prime of x. So d by dx of 1 upon phi prime, prime of x must be much less than 1. Now what is phi prime of x? What is the first derivative of phase 5? The first derivative of phase 5 is related to moment. Okay. So in other words I can write the d by dx of 1 upon the momentum of the particle must be much less than 1. Okay. So the reciprocal of the momentum of the particle must be slowly varying. Okay. So the first derivative of the reciprocal of the momentum of the particle must be much less than 1. Okay. Now I can relate the momentum of the particle to the de Broglie wave unit. Okay. We know that uh, the de Broglie wave unit and the momentum are related by E of x is equal to x by lambda of x. But lambda of x is the de Broglie wave unit. Okay. So what is meaning? The d by dx of, if you use this expression, the d by dx of lambda of x must be much less than 1. So this is called the validity condition of WKB approximation. That means if the variation in de Broglie wavelength, if it is very small, if the variation in de Broglie wavelength is very small or if the de Broglie wavelength is slowly varying, then I can use the WKB approximation. So this is what is called the validity of WKB. Okay. Okay. So this shows that the variation in de Broglie wavelength must be very small in order to apply the WKB approximation. Now in certain situations this expression will not be valid. So this is not valid, this condition is not valid usually near to the turning points. 
So at the vicinity of turning points, if you look at the vicinity of turning point, the work the potential and energy is approximately same. So then what would happen if the potential and the energy is approximately the same? Then the momentum would be approximately 10 to 0. So you can recall the momentum of the wave function, the momentum of the particle or classical momentum is defined to be square root of 2m e minus v of so if E minus E and V of X, if the energy and uh, the, uh, the potential energy are almost same, then the momentum of the particle would, would tend to zero. If the momentum of the particle would tend to zero, then this become this condition will not be valid. If the momentum of the particle would become zero, then the D drop in itself will tend to increase. So in, okay, so in the vicinity of turning points. The turning points are the points with the potential energy is approximately equal to total energy where the momentum tends to zero or d log level tends to infinity then your the WKB approximation is not valid in this point because what will happen is if the momentum itself tends to zero this condition is not valid at all or if the lambda itself tends to infinity this condition is not valid so at the vicinity of turning point the WKB is not bad. Okay. So then, how will you deal the problem which is having classical turning point? So this problem has to be dealt separately. So that we will see in the next session through the connection formula. Thank you.